I, I honestly don't even know what to say right now because for Vikings fans, the life of a Vikings fan goes as follows. Optimistic at the start of the season, here's why we can optimize our roster and still have a chance to win. Even if we lost some players, it's all good, it's fine. Only for us to then get screwed over at the end of the season, not before the season fucking starts, bro. I got an alert on my phone. The Neil Hunter has been placed on IR. And initially, I'm thinking, well, you know, it's three games. Uh, he can be back for the Texans game. The whole tweet gate by Mike Zimmer. Listen, man, it has become abundantly clear that when we traded for Yannick Ngakwe, you remember the thought process was, oh, shit. Daniil Hunter, Yannick Ngakwe, we're going to pair the two together and we're going to just tear the league up. It's going to be great. It has become abundantly clear that Yannick Ngakwe, who's basically a one-year rental for the Vikings as of now, is the replacement of Daniil Hunter for at least this year. Because until I see this man on the field, until I hear reports that he's actually practicing, I'm going about this year like Daniil Hunter is not playing what the fuck is going on man mike zimmer i never want to hear this dude talk about another player's injury again this you could get screwed over like someone could steal your your debit card your credit card information just drain the fuck out of your checking and banking accounts mike zimmer will say you know what you i just lost a couple of change it's fine i never want to hear this dude talk about player injuries again Oh my God, this isn't even fair. Even for Vikings fans, we're used to getting screwed over. This is unfair even for us. Podcast is still tomorrow, but this changes everything.